Hello everyone and welcome to the stream summary from last week. Today is Wednesday, we played on Thursday, so it's six days since. This is common for me, but also uh, we did have, I don't know if you were there, a heatwave. Um, and I <laughs> was very reluctant to even turn the computer on, let alone launch this and try to record it. In fact, I think that I may have saved myself from some hardware damage by avoiding that. So I, yeah, I didn't do it before and I, and luckily it's nice and cold today. Um, so let's go through a little bit of what has happened. Uh, I've started by looking at the last thing in the list, which was that Lawrence has actually managed to automate living wood and living rock, which is interesting because I can't see where. So let's try making some. Living... Well, it's not a crafting recipe. <laughs> I'm assuming that this is um, available on Lawrence's channel. Lawrence has uh, obviously done a video, as he always does. So at the end of this video go and click on his and see what he's actually done but let's see if we can find it i was assuming it'll be up there because we, we we're gonna want to be looking for at the very least the pure daisy this is not there there's a bunch here okay so it looks like uh, he's done the keeping it in stock trick so there are 64 living woods in stock here this is a storage bus as we've seen it's set to extract only which means that um it's not going to use this to store anything. If some living wood comes into the system, it's not going to go into there. It has to craft it in order to be in there and then it can be used. However, I'm a little bit confused. Oh, those are planks, that's why. So there's already 120. So let's take some out. Now oh, there's 56. So some of that came from here. <laughs> so um, I remember he was saying on stream, traditionally you would surround a pure daisy here with eight of these and there are two more here which you can obviously put eight around can you be quiet in the background um there are eight squares around this one and this one for you know living wood or living rock um and you can see that because i took 64 out of here there's 56 in here and that extract only thing means if i put these back goodness knows where they're going because it is not going to be in here <laughs> where is it there it is see it's 58 so as this flips over and um, becomes crafted uh, so the, the craft will end up here because it was requested by this so this is not storing it as a storage item this is a, the crafting card in the interface is causing them to go into here so it's requesting the crafting of one and when it happens it goes in there um, this is doing the same for living stone except for the living rock of course you have to say living stone that's the thing um, but he hasn't actually told it to He's told this one to hold both so that you don't need two storage thingies. Oh, this is very clever indeed. So this is holding everything, but this is how you craft the living rock. If I were to take, you know, one of these out. Uh... <laughs> there we go. We forced it to happen, whether we wanted to or not. Um, so that's exactly the same. And then we've got here uh, a, a breaky thing. Now on this one, it doesn't actually need a What's this for? Someone tell me. Uh, it doesn't actually need a tool because it's wood. But you notice that it is, it's a controlled miner, which all means it will break something, but it has a allow list of living wood or for some reason dianite blocks. So it's gonna mine the living wood, but not the actual wood. So when this changes, which we've been hearing it do in the background, then this thing will break it but not until and this is doing the same but notice this has got a diamond pickaxe with unusing whatever that does and unbreaking three so eventually this will probably have to be replaced manually this is very much like what we did a long time ago um for the rubber thingy we ended up i put in a very cheap axe so that we could easily repair it because i didn't see that there was any way of automatically replacing this but as those things go these are gonna there you go look that breaks it this picks it up which is picking both of them up and it goes into the system that way. So it's a very simple thing. It's only doing one at a time because it only needs to do one at a time because it's, that's the reason we keep it in stock is because it takes a while to do. So, hello, what's this? Dragon scroll, cute. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't matter how long it takes. Oh yeah, the mob farm chickens, <laughs> obviously on purpose. Uh, let's see what else has been happening. I believe this was the, oops, press the save. I believe this was the day that Pete was off. So Pete didn't do anything. Lawrence has built this. I believe this is the full multi-block structure required for a tier two. This is just tier two Starlight Crafter. 
Um, so this could do extra things. It's got the extra ones around the side because some recipes need more things. That is the way of the, the beast. Um, this whole thing, the story is that it collects starlight. It's better at it. Something like that. Blah, blah, blah. You know, get the idea. And the rune automation is now working. I don't think we saw this last time. Uh, it wasn't quite so complex. <laughs> but this is rune automation now. Several issues were fixed, I believe. Um, we've seen Fred framed red alloy wire before. We don't use it very much, but when we do need it, it's there. It's very helpful for making little bridges like this. Um, there's also a, an equivalent of this in a single block, but we won't talk about it. Um, Lawrence's video again will explain quite why this was necessary, I'm sure. It's very complicated and Tristan was involved. Uh, and when Tristan is involved, you know that it's actually complicated uh, and not just being derpy. Mike, his job was to do a lot of quests and we have done a lot of quests. I'm going to just land and let it bounce in the background. Um, because we're trying to push towards the end of the game, which is going to be our rocket lodge. We will... Oh, I'll press play more. Let me press that. Uh, we will potentially continue on Thursdays when we've finished. We may just play ourselves without streaming it. Um, stay tuned for what's going to happen at the end of it and stay tuned for the new Factorio series that I may be part of, but Lawrence certainly will. Uh, all of this, I'm not going to press collect because that seems insane but we've gone all the way from you know rock crusher through to i think we saw some jetpack stuff go in here um essence of the gods that's quite important you always need those um hyperlink card uh, i don't even right it's a web page <laughs> something like a state-of-the-art memory card that is only used in high quality machines as you as you know uh Tier 6 solar panels is something that Tristan managed to get through. Tier 5 as well. Um, blast Furnace. The Blast Furnace. Got a Signal and Watering Can. No need. And that, what else have we finished? Uh, just the White Magics and Black Magics. Black magic. So obviously Lawrence has been working through these as well. We did make a telescope. Telescopes are cool. That's for looking at the stars. Um, I thought we already had one of those. So maybe there's a different... Like, I think Actually, I think you start with the Astrolabe. The sextant, yes. So the sextant is the sort of the handheld equivalent of the telescope, and the telescope's a bit better. Again, Lawrence's videos, he knows. Uh, so we've been working through the quests. We're going to be launching a... Oh, I <laughs> forgot that. Um, we're going to be launching the rocket and then deciding what to do after that. Possibly some of this involving... Um, not playing, <laughs> basically. Rodo what now? Okie dokie. Don't need that, don't need that. Um, did I show you my magic thing, which is now broken? It's not broken. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this. I'm going to mention it again, just in case, because this is really cool, and we might want to use it in other series. It's player chest here, I made, um, which means it is mine. And it's got my inventory, and you can see this is exactly the same. And there's my uh, things. What I've done is I've not allowed any access to anybody, but insert only on this one. Anybody can access this, by the way. So anybody can insert something into this slot if they're being careful. But what I've done is I've told... There's just noises everywhere. This base is so... It's in an unruly neighbourhood. I've got a crafting card making torches. Um, I feel like it should... It should use stocked items. So it's... But what it's doing is it's outputting... It's an export bus. It's outputting torches. And the only place it can go is here. So I've always got torches in that slot. See that? So as I'm running around, there is actually a, a limit on the range of this, which is kind of annoying because it means that when I actually want my torches, I don't get them. Um, but it means that whenever I'm doing stuff, I can nip home and I just get my torches back without having to remember them because I'm always forgetting my torches. I wanted to do, the old trick was to have an ender chest. Oh, that's obsessed. To have an ender chest and an ender pouch and to stock it with just those few things you need. But we can't find anything in this mod pack that allows you to stock an inventory that can hold more things than then you want to stop um which is why we ended up with this silly system <laughs> oh i was making some of these things i think um it's why we ended up with this silly system of making uh the semi-automatic stuff because what's glass huh? what did that is that not allowed to come back in um also this is slightly broken i need one more of these <laughs> What's going on? 
This is weird. Um, like, if I wanted to keep 64 torches in an ender chest, I only want the 64 torches in an ender chest. But I don't know how to do that. Um, and, and this was the same. We just wanted to put this many of each of those things in this chest. But you either fill the chest up or you can't. Um, so we, I didn't. <laughs> I gave up. Can't do it. Um, what else have people been doing while I... What else have we been doing? Yeah, Mike did a lot of other things. In there. I the only other thing left then was me. We've done Mike. Tristan was helping Lawrence mostly, and he did the tier five and six solar panels and new advanced alloy smelting factory. So that was part of the quest lines as well. I'm not quite sure what that thing is used for. And then the only the other thing that was really happening is that my entire time was basically spent down here sorting all this out. Um, oh look, the profile. Oh, that was the thing. Yeah, that was for speed upgrades, I think. This has changed, so someone's made the storage? Or is that doing something? Rock crusher. I'm guessing that turns these into those. Oh, it's got um I, I don't know what this is for. Because that seems to be filling that up. But those are filling that up and that's filling those up. So do you have a crafting card? No. Just outputting them. So these are available to this system. And this is doing what? I don't know. It hasn't got a pattern in it. You are making... This must be what Tristan was doing as well. Pulverize aluminium. Brilliant. So, yeah. Uh, this place, you have to be a bit careful with. The reason I've been using... Actually, chums. Um, I've been using smart cables down here. In fact, I've been using smart cables basically every... Uh, well, the thin ones, not the dense ones. Because... You want to make sure that you're not overdoing it on channels. And the easy way to overdo it on channels is to use these thick ones that don't actually show you how many channels there are for sort of an overview. Um, probably that was just how many we had in what, he, what Tristan had in his inventory. So, I mean, it's fine. Um, but you see how this one is saying, ah, I'm nearly full. But if you just took this one, you'd be like, it's fine, there's plenty. This is not a room that has. I'll show you. This is not a room that has 32 channels going into it. Um, it's all of this. So all of these that I did last week are, you know, basically full, actually. So the purple one... Well, the purple one's got several left, 20. The grey one, the cyan one, is full because that is one of the crafting things, actually. And then the green one is getting full as well. So I've sort of divided these up between green and purple. I'm not sure why I put purple on that side instead of that side, but you, you can't win them all. Um, but you can see up there, there's a green one. It's not really... There's no real madness, madness to my method. <laughs> Brilliant. Except that I seem to have accidentally used the green ones for the carpenters. I want to move all these downstairs, but if we're not going to be playing that much longer, I'm not necessarily sure it's worth it. Um, so down here... I think you may have seen this. This is where I was going to dig in, by the way, and make another chamber. Uh, you probably haven't seen these, the white lamps. I really like these, and I'm hoping that we get them in whatever next series, whatever series we play next. Maybe that should be there. Doesn't look very good, does it? <laughs> it's, it's fine. Um, I've used the lamps to try and illuminate the place, because these had X's on them. I'm not sure if that means that they are spawnable, but I put torches on them just in case. And this is the molecular assembler that I was making, um, and it is nearly finished, which is why I'm making all of these. You can see that a is very laggy, my computer can't keep up. But also, it's using all 32 channels from the Cyan side. Uh, so that entire thing goes all the way down there. I don't know why I use smart uh, dense cable there. And sends all 32 channels upstairs and just uses it in one go. And there's room for another one, but we're not going to need it. But I did make the space. I, I planned ahead, even though we're not going to get that far ahead. All this is a complete mess, and I hate it. So that's why I was going to move it downstairs. Uh, I did manage to speed up many of these. Um, these are the ones that needed this annoying thing, which needed this profiling bench, which was... By the time that I'd figured out how to automate it, I didn't want to <laughs> anymore. It didn't seem worth it. Um, but this is getting, you know, kind of full as well. So, I mean, that's all I've got to say. We've done a lot of quests. I'm going to go upstairs and uh, explode them all over the, the, the picky-uppy room. And I hope you'll join us. We're going to be playing on Thursday, certainly this Thursday, which is now tomorrow, possibly next Thursday. As many Thursdays as it takes to finish, basically. 
uh, and then we'll see how we feel about it uh, in, in future. So thanks for watching. I'm going to claim all these and view all my stuff everywhere. And until next week, thanks for watching. Hope you join us on the thingy. Don't forget to watch Lawrence's video, which is one of one of these ones showing up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.